Meet him. First real opportunity for Suburbs. Drifts the ball inside. Here's O'Brien. Meets him again and met him. First chance, but the flag's up for offside. And now Morrow. Morrow slips it inside. Great chance here. And the chance goes begging Charlotte Roche. Oh, he's showing a good turn of pace, but uh, again, Rebecca Van Dort with all that experience. Kyogen, Kyogen, there's a gap on the far side and she just lifts her shot too high. Here's Jackson. Jackson opens up a shooting opportunity, but then drills the ball wide. This ball inside from Van Dort, but uh, eventually the ball finds its way. Petra Buick drills it in. Here's a good opportunity. Good chance. Good shot. Good goal. Canterbury United Pride open the scoring. Charlotte Rose, the second opportunity she's had this afternoon. Looking for someone to lay the ball back to. Delivery comes in. Looking for O'Brien. O'Brien in the back of... I think it was Rebecca Lake. And the shot comes in. Una Foyle can't hold it. O'Brien. Uh, the flag's up for offside against O'Brien. Kyogen here. Slips it inside. Roche. Kyogen again. And for the second time this afternoon, her left foot strike goes over the top of the crossbar. Here comes Jackson. Jackson with a strike. Jackson finds the back of the net. Here's O'Brien, though. Taylor O'Brien checks inside one. This is a good opportunity. Good save by Foyle. Can Jackson finish it off? Foyle again. Saved off the line. All hands to the palm. And then the strike from Atkins over the top. Frankie Moreau across to take the corner. Fly in the middle of the goal. Ball bouncing, still not cleared. Bouncing, cleared off the line and tucked away. Well, it's a melee in the six yard box. And now it's a long ball over the top for Bellamy. She's going to reel this one in. There's a player on the inside. Bellamy plays it inside. Great save by Bennett. Wonderful save by Brooke Bennett. Terrific counter attack by Canterbury. Superb play that time by Chloe Bellamy. And now the ball just bombed into the corner to waste a bit of time. And there is the final whistle. Canterbury United did enough to hang on. And they hang on quite comfortably. And in the end, they've won this one 2-1.